hello guys today i am demonstrating a very unique and new approach endoscopic sokha and clipping of acromenorrhism this was a 60 year old guy presented with sudden severe headache two days back this was a ct scan suggestive of thin subarachnoid hemorrhage with a small gyrus septus bleed ct angiography was done suggestive of a wide neck aneurysm arising from the acom artery and here you can see uh, it is projecting superiorly and posteriorly and a one blab uh, projecting anteriorly which was possibly blood so sokha uh, was selected because brain was atrophied in this case a very small eyebrow incision is made and meticulous dissection done to prevent periorbital edema a small craniotomy of merely 2.5 cm is made and uh, be, uh, through this only we have to do all our surgery first of all as usual cilium fissure is dissected and as soon as csf is released brain become lax and rest of the all steps are similar to microscopic surgery although hand eye coordination is very important uh, so ipsilateral optic nerve is identified then cilium fissure in this case is dissected proximal to distal and this was uh, just lateral to the optic nerve is uh, ica and here you can see beautiful bifurcation of ica and a small part of gyrus rectus is resected to expose uh, rest of the nerves and vessels so this was opposite a1 and this was ipsilateral a1 and this was uh, ipsilateral a2 and this was the aneurysm and here our clipping so clipping was done with the curved clip of 7 mm and below you can see below the aneurysm there was the opposite a2 so both uh, vessels or a2 and both a1 were secured and this was the post op scan showing clipping in place dono haath upar kariye dono haath upar kariye post op period post op day 2 ab niche kar lijiye dheere 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 niche le aaiye without dheere dheere niche le aaiye deficit and here you can see there was no vital edema at all thank you fir se upar kariye